Good dog. <laughs> Little psychos. So, boy, you can take down. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? That's yeah, the first day we've been able to get out in the dog park with the dogs. So. Let them get out and get some exercise. I've been cooped up all winter. Nice day though. Was it in the 50s today? Yeah. Water shut off. Yeah, water's still shut off. Pandemic water shortages. <laughs> That's probably for freezing. Yeah, got you up on stage. Gonna have to do some twerking. No, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. Come on. They're all trying to jump up on the side. Come on. Come on. Little jerkies. They don't even know how to play. Come on, get up there, boy. Come on. Uh, just... Come here, girl. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Oh. Probably jump off. <laughs> there you go. There you go. This is a pretty girl. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going on, everybody? Hi. What are you doing? Come here, Gordo. Come on, Bubba. Come on. You can do it. Little chickens. Just walk down it and she'll follow you. There you go. Figured it out. Come on. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Smarty pants. There you go. Yeah. He's a fun. He's Come on, a fat ass. Get up here. Come on, Gordo. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, fat ass. Get up here. There you go. Oh, dummy. Imagine, a little over a week from now, they're going to have a big old yard. Good job. Good job. Yeah, our house, in, our house down in Lubbock. Yeah. Did we even talk about the house we got? Nope. Well, a little bit last night, five bedrooms. Yeah, it's a five bed, two basement. bath with a basement, 2,500 square feet, big backyard with a shed. These dogs ain't going to know what to do with themselves. Maybe I'll fit and trim. Yeah, another week. This place is no moss. I mean, it's a nice place. Of course, this first time we've been able to use the dog park because yeah. it's been closed down. It had closed down all winter. Actually, since last year, last summer and everything, it was all closed down. It's like the first time dogs have been able to run freely in a while. Ha, ha, ha.
Of course, you got to piss on everything. Little jerkies. Ooh, all the bugs are back out today, though. I actually had a bee fly into our place a little bit ago. I was sitting there on the couch in the back door to the patio. <laughs> Big old bumblebee just comes rolling in. <laughs> little psycho. Little psycho. Little psycho. Of course, they don't know how to fetch a ball and bring it back. Yeah. Good job. Of course, yeah. her, her mouth is too small for most things. Yeah. Every guy wishes you could say that, eh? <laughs> oh, your mouth's too small for that. Hey, you want the ball? No, no. You want the ball? Okay. <laughs> Dorks. So, you're looking forward to going to Texas? Yeah. You gonna, what kind of job you want to find down there? Uh, the kind where I can wear jeans and a t-shirt <laughs> and tennis shoes. <laughs> What's well, like I was thinking about it too is there's got to be depot associate. <laughs> yeah, who works the plumbing department? Yeah. I mean that's legit. You could actually like run the plumbing department at Home Depot or something yeah, like that. Probably. Well, was it Ferguson Plumbing Supply? Yeah. Is that plumbing? Yeah. One of them. Are you having fun? Yeah. Are we having to break the lease? No, we're not breaking the lease. It, it kind of came down to the thing we got till the end of June on this lease. And if we wanted if we wanted to move out early, we had to pay what? The month that we're doing? Plus two more. Plus two more. So we'd have to pay up three months of rent up front. And we only got three months left. And we only got three months left. So instead of paying it all up front, leaving and letting them lease the place out after we're gone and they still made more money we said screw that because told them we had a transfer with work and stuff and they wouldn't let us out of it so i turned around and said you know what why pay it all up front we'll just move out leave the place and string the next three rent payments out over the next few months so we're gonna have to pay we're going down to texas and we're gonna be paying double rent for three months on this place and the new house so but we can go do this now make more money it sucks that we'll have to lose out on paying extra rent here but you know it's just one of those hits we'll take because we can go do this now and it's waiting for us and we found the house and all that stuff in texas so yeah, why wait? Why wait? We'll, we'll bite the bullet. We could either stay here and pay our next three months of rent and move, but make less money. Yeah. Or we can go grab this thing up right now. Just go get on with Just it. Just go get on with it and bite the bullet. I mean, some people would say, that's stupid. But, you know, eh. Yeah. we more on less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just that thing. I mean, we'll be fine. We'll We'll get it taken care of, but... What are you going to do? Yeah, in this lease, I mean, I wish they would have let us out of it with a little bit better terms, but, you know, like I said, we, Illinois has run its course and we're just ready to go. So we'll go ahead and just get it done. Right, dog? But it's also better just getting down to Texas. Like I said, we can transfer our CDL sooner, get residency set up, all that kind of stuff, and just be better off. So overall, it'll just be a better thing. We'll just have to, like I said, bite the bullet for a couple months, paying double rent, and then be done with it. <laughs> Your butt's all hanging out. Everybody's like, yeah, butt hanging out. <laughs> Yes, it is awesome that we're making the move. Pretty good. Like I said, Illinois just it's run its course. It Illinois never meant Ill to be permanent. Yeah, it was never meant to be permanent. We're 
yeah, we were doing CHI with Landstar, and after that ended, it's like the pandemic kicked in, and we just kind of got stuck in Illinois for a while, so. I mean, I'm kind of glad we had the place when the pandemic hit. Yeah, if we were still out on the road when the pandemic hit, it would have sucked, because we would have been kind of out of work, and. The hazmat, the hazmat deal you guys went through, is that for the port or general hazmat? General. It was our hazmat endorsements in Nevada, which we ended up not, ended up not even needing to do because, yeah, it was already, actually already settled. It was done. And yeah, we thought we were going to have to retest. Yeah, we thought we were going to have to retest to redo our hazmats. And because we had valid twit card still it's actually got extended until next year yeah. but we didn't know that because we couldn't get anybody on the goddamn phone right dogs oh, are they kind of done looks like they're pooped yeah they're little. man they're gonna be sleeping hard in a little while <laughs> yeah they are <laughs> imagine when they got the backyard to run around in all the time it'll be all buff dogs in oh yeah because our backyard little mush piles right now it's almost as big as this it looks like in the pictures at least half of this. Yeah. Yeah, be glad. What? Bring biting the bullet better than biting the pillow? <laughs> it depends on why you bite the pillow. <laughs> yeah, you want to bite the pillow? <laughs> be glad we don't have little ones to uproot? Yeah, you know. I mean, if they were little enough, they wouldn't even know the difference. Wouldn't matter. Right, yeah. girl? But like school age, yeah, that would suck. Yeah, if they, well, the the most crucial years to uproot kids and move them is when they're in junior high. You can move them in elementary school and high school. And high school. But, junior high. but junior high is a crucial crossover time. That's why they separate schools like that to the grades oh. up to like sixth grade. Yeah. And then seventh and eighth is there's such a developmental gap between elementary and high school right there that's why they do it actually my my friend dr ben because he's a educator he explained all that to me too because when my ex and my daughter were moving to california it was when my daughter was a uh, what grade, right? yeah she was not seventh. seventh it was right after elementary school ended and they were moving to california and he's like why is she doing that and i go to get away from me right. and she's just doing it out of spite really you know she had some dude down there she wanted to get with and She's claiming, you know, she had some new job or whatever it was, and it was all lame. But point being, point being is he, he was saying how detrimental that was going to be to my daughter, moving her down there during junior high years. And it's true, too. I mean, my daughter's had a lot of uh, emotional issues now and stuff, and it, I don't know, it bugs the crap out of me, but... See, I am... Cleared to go back on the road. Woohoo! Lucky you. <laughs> yeah, lucky. <laughs> I was thinking of getting mine back. Things have changed since I had mine last in 2001, and I know everyone is saying you may need it if I do anything with the ports. Well, you, your hazmat, but you also want your TWIC card if you got to go to the ports. Sign up for your TWIC. Yeah, the hazmat test is super easy. Yeah, the hazmat's no big deal. You just got to get the fingerprinting done and stuff. But also, you got to do the same thing for your Twit card. So, it's all federal. So, and he just can't help but try and piss on everything. <laughs> I need more water. I got to pee. <laughs> You're at the Leroy Loves. What? You're only like 40 miles away, man. <laughs> the Retriever. Yeah, these two, man, they're spazzes. They jump all over the place. Especially Gordo. Even when you're just walking him, he's constantly darting back and forth, back and forth, going off. He's kicking. <laughs> it's so funny to watch him. Whenever he takes a whiz or a dump, he, he, he just kicks up like 10 pounds of grass everywhere. What are you doing, psycho? Huh? Crazy dogs. 
Just moved to Conroe, Texas from Seattle. Like it way better. I mean, I mean, I love the weather and the, you know, the scenery in Seattle. Yeah. But, no. Seattle's a sweet place. It's just way too overpriced and overpriced. getting way too crazy now, I guess, too. Yeah, yeah everything else sucks. Yeah, I know the landscape in Lubbock is going to be sucky, but... It's going to be high plains, a little bit deserty, windy. Although, how much I love Lubbock, the Lubbock is well known for its wind, too, right. so... It's and the be... wind don't bother me, but we all know how I feel about the desert. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly desert, it's just... Yeah. But it ain't. It's a little bit more barren though. Yeah. It ain't corn fields and mountains and trees though. So. No, nah, and that's the thing you got to give it here. I mean, yeah, spring spring here. through fall is just great here. Weather's good. I just got gets a little warm. Imagine, you know, I just the color the grass gets in summer here. It's yeah, it's just amazing. that radiant green is crazy. It's great. Yeah. Got to love it here during the summer, but growing up in Las Vegas my entire life, you know, it's like most people probably take green grass for granted you know <laughs> yeah having rock yards and rock yards no and trees and everything's dead you know in the desert nothing is even green in the desert oops yeah Lubbock just had a blizzard all the Texas pretty much had a blizzard yeah yeah that's a once in a while yeah it happens once in a while like a 30 year storm or some shit uh, they said it was like a hundred year storm. Oh, hundred year storm. But then again, you, a few years ago in New England, oh, this is a hundred year storm, you know. It's like, they happen, man. Even here, they got some decent blizzards here this year, too. Yeah, we got covered in some pretty good snow here. You got stuck in some. Yeah, I got stuck a couple times. Lubbock and Amarillo are in Tornado Alley. Yeah, they're in the very bottom section of it. Actually, I just saw a video the other day from the 12th, 312 Lubbock had four tornadoes touching down. Well, luckily, we got a basement. <laughs> yeah, we got a basement. Yeah. So, I think it's bad enough. I'm sure over the next couple months, it's gonna be kind of bad. That's springtime is the uh, tornado season. What's up, boy? What are you doing? Oh, pee on something again. Here you go. He's probably taking about 30 pisses. <laughs> At least. Huh, girl? Crazy dogs. <laughs> they look like they're about done. Yeah, they're about done. They're tired. Probably want some water. Yeah. Yeah, we need to go to the store too, so. Yeah, we're going to the store. We gotta... Yeah, basement is for the man cave. True. Well, it's going to be well the, the boy, yeah, the boys are going to be down there. We're going to have to run a cable line down there probably so they can uh, have their gaming room. She's all whimpering. Oh, She's all got spit all over her face. Yeah. She's a saliva queen, man. Wait. Don't eat the plastic grass. <laughs> jerk. What's up, girl? Huh? She's on my sticks are tired. <laughs> <laughs> my little popsicle stick legs. Yeah, she got little tiny chicken bone legs and stuff. What's up, dildo? You go home, go night night. Yeah. South Texas H E B delivery hated that. Yeah, they got a H E B they got a head market in uh Lubbock now. I have to go check it out. They're cool stores. I went to one in uh Laredo. I wish they had a taco pilinque there. Yeah. Taco pilinque, our favorite taco shop in South Texas. What's up, boy? I'll stay safe. Good to see you guys again. Gonna go to do some mechanics work and see what will break on the <laughs> break next. Yeah. You want to go for boys? What are you doing, you little psycho? She's all she's bouncing off you. <laughs> she's all, hook me up, hook me up, I want to go. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. She's all carrying me, Mom. Well, I guess that's it for the minute. I just figured I'd show the dogs and stuff. We're it's just cool chilling. Dog park. Yeah, first time we've been able to come out here, so it's cool. we got to take them out. Yeah, anybody moves to Champagne, these are great apartments. <laughs> yeah, these apartments are cool and everything. They're of course, new. we're out of here in a week. Yeah, yeah they are only built a year ago. We got our place we moved into, it was brand new. Nobody ever lived in it. We we're happy about that. You got everything. Didn't have anybody. Didn't have anybody's butt dust on everything. Yeah. 
Yeah, for some reason our little key fob thing doesn't let us in this gate. I guess they just never hooked it up. This is a horseshoe pit, a fire pit. Got the big old pool over here and stuff. Clubhouse. They actually have a Starbucks coffee machine in the clubhouse. That's kind of cool. You can go in there and get free coffee. And they got grills. And grills there. out here and everything. Yeah. No, it's a really nice place. I guess the past year, though, it just sucks. Everything was kind of closed. They wouldn't let us use any of this stuff because of, <coughs> yeah, of, of COVID. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> the Kung Flu. Now, see, our key fob should work on this thing, but it never does. I guess they just never programmed ours because we were one of the first residents in this place. Sounds of fun. I guess that was about it. We're just checking in. Figure everybody, some people might want to see the dogs run around. Yeah. Cause they're cute. <laughs> right, dogs? They probably got to drink up a whole bowl of water as soon as they get in the house. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, uh, Yeah, he's, he's all over the place, constantly darting around. Dogs on dog, goddamn cocaine, man. Dogs, I want to do some of that cocaine. <laughs> all right, everybody, I guess we'll check out on that. I'm sorry, not a very exciting life. He just figured we'd uh, say hey, you know yeah. what I mean? See if we can come out with some more video. I don't know if Dustin's up to it, he might want to do another live feed tonight. Yeah, I don't know if I'm up to it. Getting, getting drunk with dust and yeah, no shit. he was all messed up. He's still sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll check back later. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs>